Half-life in radioactivity. Reference interval of time requires for one half of the atomic nuclei of a radioactive sample to decay. Half-life is different for each isotope. Data shows half-life can range from less than a second to millions of years. The isotope in this table decays the most rapidly is polonium-216. Another example, radium-226 has a half-life of 1,620 years. This means that half of the sample of radium-226 will be converted to other elements by the end of 1,620 years. In the next 1,620 years, half of the remaining radium will decay, leaving only one-fourth from original amount of radium. After 20 half-lives, the initial quantity of radium will be diminished by a factor of about 1 million. But how is half-life determined? Radioactive decay constant is a specific constant for a particular isotope, and each isotope has its own decay constant that can be measured. For example, a 238 gram sample of uranium 238 that has a 2.93 times 10 raises 6 power disintegrations per second would have a radioactive decay constant is equal to decay rate per number of nuclei. Radioactive decay constant is equal to 2.93 times 10 raises 6 power nuclei per second divided by 6.02 times 10 raised to 23rd power nuclei. Radioactive decay constant is equal to 4.87 times 10 raised to negative 18th power 1 per second. The half-life of a radioactive nucleus is related to its radioactive decay constant by half-life is equal to natural logarithm of 2, which is 0 0.693 divided by decay constant of uranium-238, which is 4.87 times 10 raised to negative 18th power, 1 per second. So, 1.42 times 10 raised to 17th power per second is the half-life of uranium-238 in seconds. There are 3.15 times 10 raised to 7th power seconds in a year. So we will divide 1.42 times 10 raised to 17th power seconds by 3.15 times 10 raised to 7th power seconds per year. So the answer is 4.5 times 10 raised to 9th power year. Thus, the half-life of uranium-238 is 4.5 billion years.